Hello everyone. Today is uh, lecture number one. And uh, today we'll be discussing indeterminacy of structures. Indeterminacy of structures. Now, uh, let us start with an example. If we take a beam, the most common simply supported beam, how many reactions is this hinge giving us? Two. And this ruler is giving us one reaction. So number of reactions is number of reactions three. Now how many equations of equilibrium are there? How many equations of equilibrium are there? Three. What are they? Summation of horizontal force equal to zero. Summation of vertical force equal to zero and summation of moment equal to zero. Now, uh, if there are three reactions and three uh, equations of equilibrium, these reactions are what? They are unknown. So if we need to solve it, there are three reactions, unknown reactions and three equations of equilibrium. So obviously we can solve it. So if we can solve it, then this structure is called as a determinate structure. If we can find out these unknown reactions by using the equations of equilibrium, then we, uh, we can say that it is a determinate structure. Now, if we uh, consider another situation, If you consider another situation where uh, we take a different beam suppose this one is the beam where there is one hinge here uh, there is one roller there is another roller here so this hinge is giving how many reactions two this roller is giving one this roller is giving one so all total how many reactions four now the equation of equilibrium is how much three so can we solve it no four unknown reactions three equations we cannot solve it because number of equations and <coughs> number of reactions are different so in this case this is called as in the Indeterminate structure. Indeterminate structure. So that is the main concept. Now, if we have to uh, go into the classification of indeterminacy, if we go into the classification, there are basically uh, uh, two big classifications one is called as static and one is called as the kinematic now uh, in uh, this two classifications static and kinematic the static is also having one uh, sub classification so we'll just uh, make the chart and make you understand you see Indeterminacy is uh, divided into two groups. One is the 
static which is generally called as ds and one is the kinematic which is called as dk now static is further classified into two groups one is called as external static and another is called as internal static then this is uh, called as dse and this is called as ds I. So we'll go into the discussions of each of them uh, one by one. Now, if we see that uh, this external static indeterminacy, uh, let us take the example of one truss. Let us take the example of a truss. What is a truss? Truss is a frame which is uh, like triangulated. That means it has a triangular, uh, it has a tendency of being uh, in the form of a triangle. That is generally called as a truss. Suppose this is a truss we are talking about. Now, if we give supports here, suppose let us uh, let us give this hinge and ruler. Now, how many external reactions are there in this structure? How many external reactions are there in this structure? Three, one, two, three. So how many equations of equilibrium here the equations of equilibrium is how many three isn't it so three external reactions and three equations so if we consider the structure as a whole we, we are not going into member level. We are not going into member level. Okay, we are taking the structural member as a whole. So here, the degree of stati uh, external static indeterminacy is actually zero. Because, uh, how do you get this? DSE. DSE is zero because it is the number of external reactions minus number of equations. Now that is how we find out the degree of external static indeterminacy. External reactions minus number of equations. So here we are getting zero. So that is the only way of finding the uh, external static indeterminacy. If we take uh, two, two examples. Let us take two more examples. Here, this beam. One hinge and suppose let us take three rollers. Then there are two hinges, uh, two reactions, three, four, five reactions. Five reactions minus equations of equilibrium will always be three. So here three, so 
what is DSA 2 so again let us consider another structure fix support one roller another roller and one hinge this fixed support is giving how many one two and three reactions four five six seven so seven seven reactions minus number of equations of equilibrium is equal to four which is ds external static indeterminacy now what is ds see the static indeterminacy ds is equal to the summation of external static indeterminacy plus internal static indeterminacy now how can we find out the internal static indeterminacy if we are getting ds and dsa so it's simple we find out the total static indeterminacy and we subtract it from the external static indeterminacy so that's how we get the internal static indeterminacy uh, these are uh, the basic concepts now we'll go uh, a bit uh, in more details so we'll go to frames now we'll go to frames Till the time I erase this board, I hope uh, I want you to go into a quick revision of what we have thought, uh, what we have discussed till now. So in frames, we need one concept called this tree concept. What is this tree concept? Now, uh, before going to the tree concept, let us uh, write one formula. It is total degree of static indeterminacy is equal to trice C minus R prime. This is for 2D structure now again this is also equal to 6c minus r prime which will be for 3d structure now you might be getting confused about uh, what is this c what is this r prime we'll go into details we'll go into details what is c now you see um, okay let us do one thing uh, let us take one small frame. Let's take one small frame. Like Now in this frame, we have to uh, make some cuts so that ultimately we can separate them. Okay, uh, that is called as the tree concept. Uh, we have to separate them and make them in the form of trees. Now you see how we do uh, do it. Suppose uh, if I cut them in this manner: one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8. Okay, so total 8 parts we have cut. Now, what if I separate them? How will we see them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the first one. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the second one and 
this is the third one so three trees we have got okay the, in this way we have to cut it so how many cuts we have made eight and uh, here i prime will go into a little bit later because i prime uh, is related to the internal hinges so we'll go into it one by one now uh, if th this is a 2d structure we know uh, and ultimately what will be the degree of static indeterminacy here 3 into 8 which is equal to 24 and we should always take into account one uh, one situation that when we are cutting it these are called as the branches these are the branches these branches should not be looped in this manner okay it should not be closed like this okay like this it should be open in this manner and uh, as uh, after we cut the frame in the form of trees then uh, and the branches are open then we count the number of cuts and then we uh, use it in the formula and then ultimately we get the degree of static indeterminacy that is the total degree of static indeterminacy and this this fixed support is called as the root this will be called as the root now uh, let us take one small example uh, to understand what is r prime this r prime so again as i erase this uh, you please go into a quick revision 